creativity is self-expression. It's or human creativity is that desire that we have to to be unique, to be original, to the desire to create something new, something different, and, and then go and express it in some form or another through various different mediums. So if we if we imagine life to be like a work of art, if we imagine life to be like a blank canvas, then if we look at it from that perspective, then our lives are literally ours to create. You know, and so in that sense we are the creators of our own destiny. We can we can choose how to view the world, we can choose how to live in the world, we can choose how to express ourselves in in various different ways. To do that, you know, it requires us to be creative, it requires us to be our own artists in our own um, in our own little worlds. You know, from this perspective we can choose how to view the world and we can choose how to, to live. And so as Nietzsche says, only as an aesthetic phenomenon is the world truly justified. And by that he means that we have we have various different perspectives in the world. You know, we have the um, scientific perspective which is a very um, a very rational way of looking at things very empirical, very objective, and we also have religion, which is, in my opinion, an, a, a perspective of illusion, really, from seeing things from a viewpoint of something which is outside of life, something which is beyond, from the beyond, something that's not inherently human to us. And the third perspective, the most important one for Nietzsche anyway, was um, the aesthetic phenomenon, was the aesthetic perspective rather, which is simply means to view the world as something beautiful, to view the world as a work of art, to see the beauty that is inherent in, in all things. And as he says, you know, he says, I don't want to wage war against that which is ugly. You know, he just wants to to create his own world. He wants to, to live in a world which he sees as something that he has created, his own creation. And so for us to be truly creative individuals, we must first learn how to to destroy, how to take apart, because in order to, to create, you have to destroy. And, you know, we have to destroy all these various perspectives which have perhaps been holding us back. And we have to destroy all of these, or take apart all of these socially constructed norms and all these viewpoints that we, we we think are ours which perhaps are not actually ours which might be sort of passed down to us through you know, biology genetics or just through social norms and social conventions creation is evolution you know, it is how to evolve it's how we can create something new this is why Nietzsche talks a lot about, about dancing. He, he makes a lot of um, dancing metaphors. And he does this because dance represents a form of joyous rapture. It's a way of being intoxicated with life, being at one with, with life. And you know, even if life, in truth, is brutal and short and you know, meaningless in itself, if we take... Um, rational or scientific viewpoint anyway. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that we have to, to choose to view the world or to create the world in that particular way. You know, we have to we have to overcome our anxieties as well as ourselves in order to, to see life as a work of art and to see it and to see life as something beautiful in itself rather than something which is ugly. We should all strive to become these artists, and we should all strive to create these unique, special moments, these unique, holy moments, you know, these moments in which we can truly say yes to life and embrace life, and we can will that they will return to us eternally. And I think everyone understands that this this sort of thing isn't easy. It's very difficult to to change a viewpoint. Um, to 
and to actually view the world in this particular way as you know to view the world aesthetically but you know it does take a lot of practice and indeed for Nietzsche his um, his Superman the Ubermensch is um, represents the ideal artist you know the ideal human being really um, you know it's a, a being a one who can create these moments of will and you know, his entire life is just like a huge disco and um, we just have to look at all of these moments and take all of these moments both joyful and unpleasant and overcome them you know we have to be thankful that we are alive and actually experiencing these moments because you know, we're, we're a unique species where there isn't any other animal on this planet who can who, is, who has this blessing you know, this gift of self-awareness and if needs be we can we can learn from all these experiences all these negative experience um, because at the end of the day life itself is the meaning of life and you know, we must we must have chaos within ourselves to give birth to a dancing star